you might call Alex Mervis a driven man. I'm not gifted, I'm a hard worker. I guess it's some drive that I do something that uh, is uh, totally new and no other uh, human being has seen to that point. Yeah. Whether this physics professor is heading to work at the University of Saskatchewan, conducting high-level scientific experiments at the country's biggest new research facility, the Canadian Light Source. Hey guys, what's up? Or composing and playing music in the quiet of his home. Alex Mervis is driven by perfectionism, passion, and a love of breaking new ground, all of which has already led him to scientific firsts, and now to the University of Saskatchewan and the Canadian Light Source Synchrotron. It's all a long way from his childhood in Hamburg, Germany, and even further from his teenage dreams of life as a traveling guitar player. But this driven young physicist is now here and very happy to be taking others along for the ride. That is, some of the most talented up-and-coming young scientists in the country, all of whom have chosen to work with Alex Mervis at the University of Saskatchewan. Meet the BEAM team. We are members of the BEAM team. We are a good group. That's what I, I can say. They call themselves the BEAM team because they use synchrotrons which generate intense beams of light. Experimental stations are set up at a synchrotron's numerous beam lines and are used to shed light on cancer research, the development of new drugs, computer technology, and much more. Alex Mervis's team studies a wide range of materials. Their work today is testing the electrical conductivity of DNA. That's right, the DNA at the core of every living thing may one day help scientists develop microscopic forms of electrical wiring. It might sound like so much science fiction, but Alex Mervis has another view of his work in material science. When I'm at a synchrotron and I pull out a spectrum that I'm measuring and it feels me like I'm Christopher Columbus and turn around some corner and uh, there's new land, a spectrum that nobody has ever seen before and nobody's ever measured before, that really makes me feel like an explorer. That love of exploring new scientific frontiers is exactly what has made Alexander Mervis one of this country's top scientists. In 2002, the federally funded Canada Research Chair program named this guitar-playing scientist the Canada Research Chair in Material Science with Synchrotron Radiation. And without the Canada Research Program, I think uh, I would not have uh, such a large group and we would not be as, as powerful of a, a team. Mervis sets the bar high. He's already published over 120 scientific papers, 80 of them just since coming to the U of S. But if anyone is ready to take up the challenge, his team is. Janae McNaughton is a PhD student in physics who, in 2004, Maclean's magazine named as one of the top 25 most promising young Canadians. She was the first to join Mervis's Bean team. Oh, I really like working for him. He's very motivating and uh, he's very excited about the research he's doing and I guess that really rubs off on us and therefore we're very excited about being involved in this new kind of research. Regan Wilkes is another top PhD student working with Mervis, along with master's degree students David Muir and Adrian Hunt in the Brown. There's even a promising undergraduate on the team, Mark Boots, and one postdoctoral researcher, Michael Yablonsk. Michael was in Sweden when he heard about Mervis coming to Saskatoon to build a beam line at the Canadian Light Source. Alex is a guy who didn't, he doesn't afraid to take such a job and I was thinking why should I be afraid? <laughs> so that's why I came here to get unique challenging experience. The new beamline Mervis is building is being constructed for what's called soft x-ray spectroscopy. Basically that means it's being uniquely designed to reveal the electronic structure of materials. That in turn will help scientists design all new materials such as metals able to withstand extreme temperatures. Guys, just another 12 hours and then we, then we are done. <laughs> Alex Mervis has never been short on drive or big dreams for the future, but lately watching his beam team at work gives him extra inspiration. You see some passion in them and that's what I like to see and that's uh, what keeps me also going. Just how far this beam team may take their ambitions is anybody's guess, but one thing's certain, Alex Mervis's enthusiasm for research is contagious. It's just a thrill. It's like I, I always read about these people who jump out of airplanes, all these adrenaline junkies, and um, to me it's just, I think I found my way of, that, is, that excites me. With the BEAM team, for Research News at the University of Saskatchewan, I'm Jennifer Weber.